Hi, I'm Marwan from My Dubai, My City. In this episode of Camels on Wheels, we're going to talk about communication antennas. We've got here Serge from Stealth Telecom, an expert in antennas. He's going to talk to us about them, like going to go briefly about them and then going to show us how to mount them on a vehicle. Hello there. Uh, I'm Serge, working for Stealth Telecom. And here we're going to talk about the antennas, the communication antennas, which is mostly the VHF and UHF that's used for the off-roading here in UAE. So uh, it's not actually a CB antenna as it used to be understood here in UAE. It's a bit different type of the thing, but yet it's very important thing in desert because communication is everything over there. So let's get closer to the car where we're gonna show you how to mount those antennas and what we're gonna use for that right now. To mount the antenna, we need the antenna itself, uh, then you need the cable, which is a through hole mount cable, and definitely the mount which you're going to use for mounting the antenna on the car. Today we're going to use the gutter mount, which is mainly used on Jeeps such as GK Wrangler, because this is the easiest way to mount your antenna on your roof. The first thing to mount the antenna, we have to get the mount installed on the car. We're using a gutter mount from Diamond here. It's a K11, which is, takes just about a few steps to get it installed. So you open it, you get it fit to your gutter, okay, nice and careful over here. And then you have to tie those screws a little. Be very careful, not over torque it because you can break the fiberglass. Okay, so I guess we're done here. You have the adjustments. You have the adjustments on the mount to get it the best way you need it, okay, which is a tilt angle. Okay, so we can say the mount is done. The next step is installing your through hole mount with the cable onto the gutter mount. Remove the shielding cap by not losing it. Okay, nice and careful. And then you just get it through the hole in the mount. Keep holding it from down and secure it nicely. So I believe that should be okay. You can tighten it later. I'm not gonna put the cable right now through the firewall, but technically when it's a uh, permanent installation, the cable has to be run through your firewall or whatever place is suitable in your car, but uh, just not to damage it. So we're done with both, with our mount and with our through hole mount. And the last part, we have to finish it with the antenna. Simply, you just get the antenna on the true hole mount and nicely you screw it on top of it. Okay, and we can say that the antenna is installed by now. So Serge showed us how to install an antenna using a gutter mount. And that's very popular on Jeep JKs mainly. Uh, during the next episode, he'll be showing us other things, so keep tuned. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.